This morning we continue with our Bible reading program. Uh, this week we were reading chapter 19 through 24 and I just want to share a few reflections where this is concerned. Uh, chapter 19 begins with God pursuing uh, Zacchaeus and Zacchaeus perceiving God. What stood out for me uh, in this chapter is how Zacchaeus anticipated and was curious to encounter Jesus Christ to a point of climbing a sycamore tree, a tree and even God himself convicting him of his sin and drawing him to himself and his acceptance of God. From there we move from where Jesus Christ uh, questioned, uh, authority is questioned in chapter 20, but then also where he foretells about the destruction of the temple, but also wars and persecution that would rise against Christians, but also the destruction of Jerusalem in itself. But in chapter 21, it is important to note verses 36, he calls the people to watch, he says, chapter uh, 21, verse 35, for it will come upon all who dwell on the face of the whole earth, but stay awake at all times, praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that you are going to take, that are going to take place, and to stand before the Son of Man. He charges them to stay alert and awake, and to stay in prayer, so that they are able to overcome the wars and persecution, and all the destruction that is going to befall them. After that, from uh, chapter 22, we see the event that leads to Jesus' arrest, to his uh, charge uh, before the pilot, and of course his crucifixion and his death and then his resurrection. But what of significance to us this morning could perhaps be the significance of Jesus' death and his resurrection. The death of Jesus Christ accomplished two things for you and I. Number one, it is that it gave us, uh, uh, it fully paid the penalty of sin. The debt of sin was fully settled in the death of Jesus Christ. He took our place by pre representing us or presenting us innocent even though the evidence against us was enough to condemn us guilty. He made us members of of a family. You and I belong to a family, the family of the Lord, which we didn't belong to, and that was accomplished by Jesus Christ. But we also paid a debt he didn't owe for a people who had a debt they couldn't pay. And so this morning we can walk victorious knowing that our penalty of sin has been fully paid in the man Jesus Christ. But the second thing is that not only did he pay the penalty of sin, but he completely defeated the power of sin itself. The two things that oppress people could be sin itself and the power behind sin itself. But Jesus Christ defeated the forces of darkness and evil through defeating the power of sin and the power of death. And so are you there and you are struggling with sin? Are you there and you are oppressed by evil powers and forces of darkness? Jesus Christ gives us victory in him and he calls us. And if we are to respond like Zacchaeus, great anticipation of curiosity to encounter Jesus Christ and perceiving his ministry and his works, then we are going to be transformed. God bless you.